So here's, yeah, okay. here's a good one from Justin. He okay. wrote it. Um, is it really worth going bankrupt for organic? Yeah. <laughs> that, so it depends on who the breadwinner is. I yeah. think is the first question. <laughs> okay. No, but, that's a good question. But ain't your money spend it on organic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a lot of the problems I see is people have a food budget of groceries that's equal to or sometimes even less than their restaurant budget, their Oreo budget, their wine budget, their latte budget. So 100%. you need to think about like what's your actual budget and you need to yeah, go back and add up your credit card and be like, okay, how much money are you actually spending on food and Listen, what of this food is good for you? The price because... of lattes is ridiculous. <laughs> And I had to learn the hard way, and it was hard to swallow. This is seven dollars that I almost choked on. Yeah. <laughs> so what kind of milk is this latte? Yeah. Milk? Sure. That this all that also answered John Scholl's official question. Okay. He said, "Is pasture grass-fed meat eggs worth the exorbitant cost?" That's a quite the adjective he used. Clearly, he is kind of bitter about that one. So. <laughs> this, well, your question was, "Can you put butter on everything?" And the answer is yes. <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have a so I have a client right now, a nutrition client, and um, we did a challenge, and he lost all this fat, and he gained all this muscle, and his blood markers, like he has kidney problems, and his blood markers were all the best they've ever been. And then his doctor looked at him, what he was doing and said, "No, you're eating too much protein." Even though his blood, even though his blood fine. markers were better. And then he, because his doctors, I hate doctors. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll cut that one out. I like so many doctors opinions because they're not even going they're going off of what they believe is right and not even looking at the trends of what's happening well and you guys are a special population because you exercise only 15 percent of the population exercises yeah, and how many popular percentage of the population are obese right yeah like, so anyways he has kidney problems and he's a you know he's a tall strong um now very lean man and they still like he's he should be taking it in my opinion uh about 200 grams a day and they he's like i'm still working with them and he's like they won't don't want me to take more than 150 grams in a day he has pre-existing kidney problems yes not ones that develop. no no oh, these okay. are pre-existing problems that we dealt with and ha actually had all his blood markers be in a better spot and they still and it's just like and they still want him to lose weight they're like you, I'm like, you're muscle. six muscle foot three more. and have muscle, dude. Like, yeah. I've given you so BMI, the holy yes. grail and you're just throwing <laughs> it away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's going to wash this. <laughs> Eating cheese okay or better to avoid? It's the same thing. Always cheese. I eat cheese all, every day. Cheese. I have no problem with cheese. And you can get raw milk cheese and all kinds of different cheeses. There's different flavor profiles. There's all kinds mm -hmm. of good stuff about cheese. If you're not good with dairy, then you're going to avoid cheese. Like, it, it, yeah, comes down to that personal cheese, thing. But again, Everything, if, like if, anything that's like that is like you fit it into your macros properly and your caloric intake and like you can definitely, I like again, I eat cheese every day. I don't think I eat eggs without cheese. I don't know why you would. Yeah. Exactly. Sounds terrible. <laughs> so that's all I eat. <laughs> so we went three weeks and he hadn't lost it any weight at all and I'm like dude something is wrong like write down exactly what you're eating again and like whatever goes in your mouth I need to know I don't care if it's soap so he wrote it all down and then he put in there that uh, he worked construction as well so he's like oh I snack on peanuts from job site to job site I'm like okay well the next time you snack on peanuts from job site to job site I want to know how much that is so he sent me uh, he waited at the vault barn or whatever sent me in it he was eating 3,000 calories in peanuts a day, just <laughs> snacking on peanuts, and that's all fat, salt, and a little bit of whatever. He bought carb. he bought a pound of peanuts at the bulk barn and said, "I finished this bag in two days." And he's just like snacking on it. He's like, "I finished a job site, some peanuts." And then, he, so he's eating 3,500 calories plus 3,000 calories equals 6,500 calories. It was a miracle he wasn't gaining weight at that point, but it shows you how much it, like how high his metabolism was, and working construction is high output plus. Uh, two workouts a day, so but we cut the peanuts out completely, and he lost ten pounds over the next two weeks. And we fight. were good. He was he yeah. won the fight. For sure. I'm here for the so, story. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Did he replace the peanuts with broccoli? Yeah. No, <laughs> I said I was so mad. I'm like, you're lucky I'm letting you eat at this point. <laughs>
Like, you got to get the basics figured out and mastered before you move on. It's like anything in life. When I first learned how to box, I had to learn how to throw the jab. And I threw my jab a million times before I started throwing a double jab. Yeah. Which is literally the same movement, but twice in a row. Yeah. But I had to learn how to throw that properly because that... When times get tough, you always resort back to what your body or what you've done over and over again. And if I go into a fight and I get rocked and my body and my brain doesn't know where it is anymore, I've thrown that jab one million times, I'll continue to throw that exact same jab. That's what being pregnant is like. It's no like what being that's like. rocked in the <laughs> face, right? But so I feel like because I had that foundation of doing a million jabs of that, you know, that same basic food template, that's what makes it easier to come back and, and recover from that type of situation as well. So that that's exactly what we want. Yeah, exactly. For you it guys, becomes a, it just becomes habit and yeah. just also get used to people thinking you're weird. I well, do not yeah, that care. Too. I don't care what people think. I will go to, and we've been. How long have we been married? Nine, eight, eight. God. Mm. Thinking. Eight, nine <laughs> years of gym, eight years of married. That's right. Uh -huh. I knew that. Um. And I'll still go to her parents. Uh, yeah, you're right. I'll still go to her parents for Thanksgiving. Da, 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 da. And they'll still ask me <laughs> why I didn't have a second plate of food or if I want a second plate of dessert. They'll still ask me and they'll still give me the same kind of like, nah. like, oh, like I'm too, whatever. You know what I mean? And I don't care. I really, hear that, Pat? I don't care. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Again, just stop caring what people think about how you eat and eat how you think you should be treating your body and you'll be in such a better, better place. I could rant on that all day. <laughs> all day.